first off, I want to give all praises and glory to the Most High Yahweh, who this word only calls God. In the name of Yahweh Shah, who this word only calls Jesus. In the Holy Spirit, in Paleo Hebrew, it's called Hello Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rahach Kodash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. Salutations to all the brothers out there that's teaching this word and truth and sincerity and peace, blessings and healings on to the elect and the multitude because that's why we do these videos. And um, today, man, I want to talk about this. I didn't get to talk about it last week because a lot of stuff was going on in the Middle East. Okay, and it was happening every day. You know what I'm saying? So I was trying to get those, I was trying to get those videos, you know, popping because prophecies come into pass. You know what I'm saying? But I want to get this. McDonald's offering free fries on Fridays for the rest of the year. You know what I'm saying? Does the devil give anything to anybody for free? Really? You know what I'm saying? So obviously there's some nefarious, you know, objective to this. You know what I'm saying? So let's play this video and then I'm going to get what I got. Of yourself. Love yourself some French fries? Well, I here's do. some good news for you. McDonald's, we know that that's your favorite, right? One of them. One of it's them. It's not my favorite outright, but it is definitely top five. Top five. Okay, yeah, we'll go with that. So McDonald's is offering free fries on Fridays throughout the rest of the year. There are some conditions. Of course, you have to be registered on the McDonald's app, have contactless payment set up. I'm going to start with this and then. So you have to get on their app and it's contactless payments. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So there's twofold with this because we know that the MOTB is about to be mandatory all over the world soon. But also, firstly, they have to, you know, um, make everything digital, you know, a, a technocracy. You know what I'm saying? This goes hand in hand with their plan, but also. You know, they poisoning people with this food also. Okay. Now, um, I want to get this before I get some scriptures um, right here. Developing McDonald's announced that they are now offering French fries every Friday into the end of the year. And there's some stipulations, like she said. You got to get on their app and contact us payments. You know what I'm saying? And we know this is their future plans because of the MOTB where you have to buy and sell with the MOTB. Or you're not going to be able to participate in society. That's in Revelations 13. So we're leading up to that, man. Okay. We're getting close to World War III, getting close to the MOTB. Those are, those prophecies go in tandem, man. Okay. The Middle East being hot. That's that's a prop. Those prophecies, um, you know, the prophecies go in tandem. Um, you know, you have a Messiah judging the nations down there in the land of Jehoshaphat, which is in the Middle East. Prophecies go in tandem okay so we at that time man you know what i'm saying just remember gates of hell owns the land that washington state used to grow the potatoes for mcdonald's fries and you can go look up all the land that gates of hell has bought lately you know what i'm saying that he wants to make he wants to feed you genetically modified food man this is why we're not ignorant of his devices that's why i said they have two you know what I'm saying? Nefarious plans going in tandem. Okay, poison you with the food and getting the people that don't get sick or whatever, get them ready for this technocracy digital society. Second Corinthians two and eleven, let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Okay, so we know that this is what they want to do, and we're here to warn the people, man. Don't eat at McDonald's if you can. Okay, if you can help it. You know what I'm saying? By any means necessary. Or none of these fast food restaurants, man. You know what I'm saying? We know we're going to eat our food defiled, but you try to get the least defiled food, and McDonald's is one of the most defiled foods. So, what would you rather eat, the least defiled or the most defiled? You got to make a wise decision on that, man. Judge wisely. You know what I'm saying? Let me get a scripture with on that. Um, Um, let me see. I'm going to just type this in. Wise decision. Mm. Proverbs 12 and 15. It says, The way of the fool, fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearketh 
unto why to unto counsel is wise. Okay. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give to all men liberty and a bride of not, and it shall be given to him. Proverbs 1 and 5, a wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. Okay, and this is a counsel of the Lord, man. Proverbs 25, trust in your help, and shall with all thy heart. Lean on it to your own understanding, in all thy ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct our paths. I don't even think I have eaten McDonald's since I've been in this truth. And that's been seven years now. Seven years in this thing. So, you know, don't don't eat any of these fast foods if you can help it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said. Now, I wanted to get this. This is Matthew 16 and 18. And I say also unto thee, thou art, that thou art Peter. And upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. This is why we call him the gates of hell. Because these people are not going to prevail, man. You know what I'm saying? Just look at what his pops did. Okay, what's that saying? Like father, like son, the gates. Okay, gates of hell. Grandfather, Dr. Frederick L. Gates of hell was involved with the rock, rock, rock experiment. Bacterial meningitis, jab, 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 that killed 100 million in 1918 to 1920. It wasn't the Spanish flu. It was a bacterial meningitis experimental jump shot. Okay, so nothing new under the sun. Let me get this scripture. You know what I'm saying? Nothing new under the sun, man. This is what they, they love killing people, man. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, the thing that have been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. These people are evil, man. Okay? And they're, they can't be good. You can't turn a wicked thing straight. Okay? Point blank, period. You Christians are through. You know, these people have to be done away with. Okay? And in the second coming, they are going to be done away with Ecclesiastes 1 and 15 that which is crooked cannot be made straight these people cannot be righteous because they wasn't made to be and that which is wanting cannot be numbered so they're not going to change okay and you can see they're not going to change by their actions okay but they will not prevail the gates of hell shall not prevail against it point blank period this is um Ecclesiastes this is Ezekiel 7 and 5 it says thus say you help us in Meshach and evil and evil is come Behold, it is come, okay? An end is come, an end is come. It watcheth for thee. Behold, it shall come. It watcheth for thee. So we're supposed to watch, okay? The prophecies about the end of the world say that evil will increase in the last days. And we're seeing that on a huge scale, okay? Only evil and depravity is what we see right now. It just is what it is. And we got to endure it, you know? Yeah, Habash and Mashiach never said that the kingdom of heaven will get in there would be an easy path, okay? Because we're, we're going to see a lot of fucked up things. Ezekiel 4 and 13, and this is one of the things that we would have to go through. And Yeah, Habash and Mashiach said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whither I will drive them. Yeah, Habash and Mashiach drove us here, okay? We got brought over here through the transatlantic slave trade, okay? And we are going to eat our bread defiled amongst the Gentiles, so we pick the least amount of defiled bread that we can, okay? Because our people don't grow anything, you know what I'm saying? Our people don't know how to grow anything. Our people don't know how to hunt. They don't know how to, um, you know, carve up the meat to hunt when they hunt and get it. You know, this is why in Jacob's trouble, our people are going to be, you know, led to the slaughter because... Y'all have been conditioned to rely on the devil for everything. Your water, okay, your conditioning, okay, your schooling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, your housing, your travel, okay, the internet. You even got to pay him for that. You got to pay him for every and anything, and you rely on these people to a T, okay? So when they strip all this stuff back, because the MOT, without the MOTB, you won't be able to buy and sell. Okay, they're going to take everything away and package it back to you. 
okay? And that's when you're going to hit the hoe strong, okay? Don't let no man take that crown, right? And we're, you're going to have, we're going to see who has faith in the last days, you know what I'm saying? Revelations 3 and 10, because thou hast not kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So this hour of temptation is when Esau, you know, basically takes everything. Okay, he takes everything away. Okay, and he presents it back to you. Okay, but the only way you're going to be able to get it is by making that oath to Satan, the devil. Okay, point blank, period. You know, Revelations 13 going down. Um, he causes a fall, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. This is the hour of temptation to receive the M A R K in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell. So, th this is linked with buying and selling, man. The M O T B. That's why it's not the poke, because I didn't take the poke. A lot of people didn't take the poke, and we can still, you know, participate in society today. It says. Say if he that had the M A R K M A R K or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So this is coming. This is why McDonald's is doing this twofold. Okay, this twofold uh thing, poison the people, but also get them used to um digital payments, you know what I'm saying, at their establishment. And this is happening all, all over the place. Let's go back in the backlog of my videos. I've been talking about this, you know. Basically, since I came to the truth, you know, um, going on, I wanted to get this too, you know, just to help the brothers out there. You know, if you're concerned about parasites, eat a tablespoon of papaya seeds a day for 10 days. It will naturally remove those bastards. Let's play this video. All right, you guys want to get rid of parasites? Get yourself a papaya. This one, I got at a market, had a little bit of a bad spot. So anyways, cut it in half if you get the whole one. You're gonna be like, what do I do? Do I get rid of the seeds? No, keep them. So next, you're gonna need some honey. This honey, I drizzle on the seeds. You can either scoop the seeds out, put them in the bowl, or you can just eat them right out of the papaya straight. Put the honey on the seeds. And let me explain to you why these seeds kill parasites off and why the honey brings them to the yard. So why I say put honey on the seeds is because once the seeds are in your system, it's going to pull the parasites to the sweetness. And the only reason why I'm eating it out of the papaya and not a bowl is because I need to eat the papaya with the seeds because the seeds have a peppery taste to them, so they're a little bit intense when you eat them plain, but you can eat them plain. But you want to eat about a tablespoon a day for like 10 days. So going forward, you are going to be pooping out parasites, but I'm telling you right now, they are causing a lot of your health-related issues and your children. And the reason I wanted to play this video is twofold, man, because at the end of the day, you ain't going to get no parasites, you know, if you eat uh, well-done meat. You know, but these people, they be eating red meat, they be eating pork, which has a lot of parasites. But also, I saw a video where candy had parasites. They put parasites in uh, chocolate. You know what I'm saying? So, um, let me see real quick. I had that video. Yeah, here it is. Let me play this video and then I'm going to get some scriptures. So, Salaki, hold up. Can someone please tell me what is going on with the candy at Walmart recently? Check this out. Oh, my friend from work just bought these at Walmart, just letting people know to please be careful buying the Reese's. This is just nasty. And I'm going to open one and I'll open a few of them just so you guys can see that it's not us that did this gross thing. Look. So people beware at Walmart. Let me open one. Okay. So here we go. We just opened one, okay? And look at what just came out. Now, let this be a reminder that Halloween is coming up and to make sure to check all candy before eating it because you just never know nowadays. And Halloween is a satanic holiday. I'm going to talk about it tomorrow, but you really shouldn't be uh, doing that shit. And just like it says down here, it's the season of the witch. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, for the brothers out there who got parasites, man, 
do the papaya with the honey, man. Uh, uh, eat a tablespoon of papaya seeds for ten for five, uh, ten days. You know, get rid of it. This is um Sirach chapter thirty eight verse four. The Lord have created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. You know, because the doctors of today, they're basically witches and warlocks. They're not trying to heal you of anything. They're trying to make you keep coming back like a fucking uh, drug a drug dealer. And that's what a, basically uh, a warlock is. Fucking one of his occupations is a drug dealer. And a witch's occupation is a drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they're not trying to heal you at all. You know? Proverbs 24 and 13. My son, eat thou honey because it is good. And the honeycomb, which is sweet... To the taste, just so anybody out there want to talk about honey ain't lawful to eat. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I said this was twofold. You know, you only get parasites in some cases because you eat pork. And pork is against the law, man. Pork, um, HB. Let me get this real quick. Leviticus. Look at this, man. Not even. I about to say, you saw, man. Leviticus 11 and 7 and the swine. Though he divideth the hooves, and he cloveth, and he be cloven footed, he that cheweth the, not the cud, he is unclean to you. Of their flesh you shall not eat, and their carcass you shall not touch. They are unclean to you. So it's in your best interest to listen to the Lord. He said, don't eat pork. And just so anybody out there got a problem with that, you know, Yahawashah, Yahawashimiyashah, in the second coming is going to kill people who eat pork. Okay, let me go down. This is talking about the second coming. Um, it says, let me just read up here, 15. For behold, Yehobah Shemeshah will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will Yehobah Shemeshah plead with all flesh and the slain of Yehobah Shemeshah shall be many. So we know that this is talking about the second coming, it says, They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the mist, eating swine's flesh, and the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together, saith Yehobah Shemeshah. This is a direct scripture about the second coming. Okay, so the law is still in effect. Okay, the law is still in effect. You know what I'm saying? But you want to be covered by the blood of Yehobah Shemeshah so you do not get judged by the law of the scriptures. Okay, and what is a sin? Sin is transgression of the law. Okay. Um, 1 John 3 and 4, whoever committed for sin transgressed also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. So that's a sin. It's transgression the laws of the Bible. And it just is what it is. Okay. Um, sin brings death. That's in uh, Romans. I haven't got these scriptures in a while. You know, um, Romans 6, I know it's in 6. Romans 6 and 23. It says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Yahweh Shahamashiach. Okay, for the wages of sin is death, but you can only, if Yahweh Shemeshah's blood cover you, you still not supposed to sin out here. You still not supposed to sin out here because he said out of his own mouth, when you get it, that um the law is not done away with. Law did not come to destroy the law. I should know these off the top of my head already, but um I haven't got these in a minute. This is a uh, Matthew five and seventeen. Think now, think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I come not to destroy but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle, shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. So the law is not going to be done away with, man. Okay, even in the kingdom of heaven, which the kingdom of heaven is going to be on earth. The laws of the scriptures are going to be the laws of the land, and they're not right now. You know, I've seen a Christian say at uh, Dallas's camp that it should be, but it ain't. Nigga. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so. Christians teach men so, man. He shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. And this is talking about the Israelites because all the Israelites going to be in the kingdom. But if you teach that the law done away with, you're going to be, uh, uh, you're going to be rich, but you ain't going to be, 
you know, uh, elect level. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. And just like I said, Yahweh Shai in the second coming is going to judge by the law. Point blank, period. And if his blood don't cover you, you're done out here. It's just like with in Moses' time where you had to put the blood on the doorpost. That's the same thing happening on the spiritual sense. If that blood don't cover you in a spiritual sense, you're getting judged by that law, man. And it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? This is in what? Second Ezra 13. Second Ezra 13. Um, and it don't even pop up, but, you know, we can go find it real quick. Second Ezra chapter 13. You know what I'm saying? Um, where it's talking about Yahweh Shai. By the law, let me see here. Here it is, Second Ezra chapter thirteen, verse thirty-eight. So, like, yeah, had to find it real quick. It says, um, "And this is my son shall rebuke the wicked inventions of those nations." The how about some is coming back to destroy these nations, which for the wicked life are fallen into tempests, and shall lay before them their evil thoughts and the torments wherein they shall begin to be tormented, which are like unto a flame, and he shall destroy them without labor by the law, which is like unto me. So he's going to destroy people by the law of the scriptures when he returns. And if you're not covered by the blood of, you know, Yahweh Shai, you're done out here, okay? Because a lot of people sin every day, okay? A lot of people sin every day, and they're not even trying to repent. This is why in the scriptures it talks about the ratio of the people that's going to die. So many people are going to die in the end, man. It's... it's the numbers are going to be out of this world. Second Ezra chapter 9, you know, it talks about people who, you know, basically despise your how about It says, um, and they that have loathed my law, loathed, you know, let me get this word for loathed, you know, so y'all ain't got to look it up. Loathed, loathed, um, I don't know, loathed. Love means to be hateful or displeasing. So those people who displeased Yahweh Shemeshah, man, who loathed my law which they yet had liberty, and when as place of repentance was opened unto them, understood it not, the same must know it after death by pain. So that's how people's going to go out, but it's the number of people that's going to go out. I have said before, and now do speak and will speak it here also, that there are many of them, there are many more of them which shall perish than of them which shall be saved, like as a wave is greater than a drop. So just think about that wave to a uh, drop of water. You know, that's how many people going to perish. Moving on. Gates of Hell Tide Mosquito Project is not responsible for recent U.S. malaria cases. Okay, because Gates of Hell, he's been doing this mosquito thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, genetically modified motherfucking mosquitoes, and now they out here doing mad wow shit, you know what I'm saying? This is why it says that the, um, evil will increase in the last days. The beginning of sorrows and great mourners, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils, and what shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague and tribulation and anguish are sin as gorgeous for a minute. But for all these things, they shall not turn from the wickedness, nor always be mindful of the scourges, Behold, the victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth, meaning the food. <laughs> the victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth. Free fries. Come on, bro. Y'all people don't know. That they shall think to themselves to be in a good case, and even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. Okay. First, genetically modified mosquitoes released in the United States. But I just thought, you know what I'm saying, not responsible for the malaria cases. These people are fucking liars. Okay, don't trust a devil. Okay, never trust a devil. Don't trust what he says or does. Watch his ass. Watch it and report it to the people, man. 
like you're supposed to do if you're a man. You know, so that's all I really wanted to get. You know, this is just crazy, bro. Like, we at the end, and it really shows, man, about everything that's going on right now. So, double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me the truth. And call Hilal Yahweh Shem and Shabbat Shem